Hi guys, welcome back to How Makes Up. Today I'm here with my sister. So we're gonna do a look which was from the Golden Globes. We're gonna do Diane Kruger for you, which I think is a really nice kind of suit all makeup. It's very chic and easy to wear, quite minimal but polished. And I think what's nice about this look is as well, it would also double up as a really beautiful bridal or special occasion makeup. So I've just prepped Lucy's skin with a bit of Laura Mercier foundation primer, just so the skin's really nice and flawless and I'm gonna be using Giorgio Armani, the Luminous Silk Foundation today, and I'm gonna use a mix of four and 4.5. So I'm gonna take this RMK foundation brush, which is really nice and light, and I'm just gonna start buffing that through Lucy's skin. So I'm gonna take it from the center of the face and work my way out. If you look at the picture of Diane Kruger, she had a very sort of like creamy finish to her skin, which I really, really liked. Um, so I wouldn't say it was particularly dewy, and it wasn't matte, it was somewhere in the middle, but it just looked really healthy, really sort of creamy finish is how I describe it. So. That's why I'm using this brush, it gives quite a similar finish. So, so I'm just going to give Lucy's lids a little clean and I'm going to use a bit of the Clarins Eclat Minute, this is the Instant Light Eye Perfecting Base. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my finger. Did you close your eyes, Lucy? So I'm just going to pop this over the lid, which will just cancel out any redness and just give me a nice kind of base for the shadows to go on to. So I'm going to take this really beautiful colour, this is by Laura Mercier, and this is one of their, um, it's called Moonlight, it's the Caviar Stick Eye Colour. These are like a cream sort of powder formulation in a stick, so they're great for touch-ups, and they are so quick. So this is a gorgeous kind of like, I'd say it's like a silvery bronze, so if you close your eye for me, Lucy, so I'm just going to start putting that all over the lid. And I definitely think in Diane Kruger's pictures, she looks like she had a bit of shimmer on the eye, but kind of blended with a bit of a sort of matte crease. So I'm just going to take this over the lid and I'm taking a MAC 217 and I'm just going to start to buff that out. So I'm going to take a little bit of this under the eye as well. So if you look up for me, Lucy, I'm take a little bit under. And so this goes right into kind of the inner corner of the eyes as well. So I'm taking it literally into that kind of inner tear duct and just tracing it around the eye. And then just underneath again, just softly smudge that in. And then before I add any more into the eye, actually, I'm just going to do the brow so I can frame the face a little bit. And I'm going to use a bit of the Archery by Soap and Glory. This is the one that is a very good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, it's half the price and it's literally pretty much the same brush. It's a really, really good product. And I'm using Blonde Shell. So I'm going to give Lucy's eyebrows a groom first. Can you turn that way for me, Lucy? And very envious of my sister brows. You definitely got the good brow, Jean. <laughs> got the Cara brows. <laughs> she got them Cara brows, yeah. And I've got the really puny small one. So I'm just filling them in and I'm going to thicken more at the top of the arch. So just keep grooming them as you go along so you can see the shape you're making. So I'm just going a little bit higher into Lucy's arch. And I'm just adding little strokes, little individual hairs. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that through the brow so you can see the brow hairs individually as well. So it looks like a natural brow still. So I'm mixing a bit of woodwinked and the um, cork together and the back of my hand just mixing them. So if you look straight ahead for me, Lucy, and I'm just gonna nestle that kind of into the crease so you get a sort of warm tone come through, but it's more like a socket shade. And this will just offset the shimmer really nicely so it's not like a full on shimmery eye. And I'm just contouring the eye a little bit with this. And then with a NARS 13 brush or a big fluffy brush, just make sure that's nice and soft. And then taking that petite crease brush as well, I'm gonna take cork again by MAC if you look up for me, Lucy, I'm going to take that on the outer part of the eye. So you get a little bit of contoured shadow on the lower outer part. When I look at the picture of Diane Kruger, I think what she's done with her liner, she's definitely got definition to the eye, but it's very soft and I wouldn't say it's in the form of like a gel or a liquid. So I'm actually going to use an eyeshadow pressed. I'm going to take the Zoeva winged liner and I'm going to spray it wet. So I'm just taking a black eyeshadow. This is one by MAC, but you can use any good black eyeshadow. I'm just going to make sure the pigment's quite dense. But obviously, spraying it with water means it doesn't kind of spill down the face as easily. It has more of a liner texture, but it's going to be that little bit softer. So if you turn that way for me, Lucy, that's it. And close. And I'm literally, to start with, just going to push this into the roots of the lashes. Just to start making that bit of lash definition. But what I can do as well as I go up is just kind of push it up a little bit so it stays soft. And close. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara before I add some individual lashes, and I'm gonna use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, which is the endless one, which has kind of little fibers, which adds to the lash. So I'm gonna start a little bit into the bottom lashes, just taking some off on the bottom 
on a tissue. But I just want to pull these little lashes out and I'm keeping it more kind of into the roots of the lash. So I'm just going to use the wand and we've curled Lucy's lashes several times because you have very straight lashes, don't you Lucy? I do, yeah. So I'm just taking the short lashes and I'm just going to build up the thickness. I think we're dyeing Kruger's lashes. They just look really lovely and full and soft. So look down for me, Lucy. I'm just going to add a couple more individuals. And I'm going to use a mix of short and medium. So I'm just placing them quite randomly. If you do the same number on each side, so if you count how many you've done on one side, or if it's easier, you can even do one on one side, then one on the other, and backwards and forwards. Just looking for where the gaps are. So next I'm going to add some concealer and this is the bit that brings it all together. So I'm going to use Clarins Instant Conceal. Um, I absolutely love this concealer. This is in shade number one. It's very brightening. Um, and I find it does cover kind of a certain amount of redness as well quite well. So I'm taking a Real Technique setting brush. So I'm going to start with that kind of in a V shape almost under the eyes. And what's nice about this concealer is it's very creamy as well. So like I said with the whole look Diane had on the red carpet, it was all very creamy and feeling. So I'm just taking that little bit into the inner of the eye as well. You can see now it just all comes together and it's just such a lovely creamy consistency, this concealer. So I'm going to take a cream blush by Becca. It's one I've squished into my palette and it's Rosebud, which is this really beautiful kind of light pink. So I'm going to take that on a highlight brush by Zoeva. I'm just going to take a bit of that Becca colour. So I'm going to work it on the back of my hand first because it will pick up quite a lot of pigment. And then I'm just going to place it first into the cheek to kind of warm the cheek a little bit but it's still quite a cool tone blush so it goes quite nice with the sheen on the eye I'm just working that through and then with my foundation brush you can just take off any edges it's such a lovely soft pink I think the pinks that she did have on were very very soft the only other thing I'm going to take now is a powder but I'm going to take this lovely one by Hourglass which is ethereal light so I'm just using a little bit of that around the chin a little bit down the nose but still want it to look really creamy and lovely. So for lips, the first thing I'm going to use is one of these Clarins. Um, it's their Comfort Lip Balm Crayon. And I think the shade of this one is 01, which is my pink. So it's a very kind of sheeny nude. Just as like a balm, I'm going to put this on first. And it adds a little bit of a pink tint, but it's very, very natural. So you can see that's quite a nice rosy pink. And then I'm going to take Pale Pink by Bobbi Brown. And if you close your lips and smile for me, Lucy, I'm just going to now flatten so it's more of a creamy consistency using that lip liner just to perfect the shape. Just take a beauty tissue and then just blot so the top layer comes off so you've got a little bit of the stain and then go over again with your pale pink lip liner by Bobbi Brown. So you could stop there if you wanted to guys. If you wanted to take this a little bit nuder, especially if you're more kind of brunette, you could use one of these matte cream puffs by Collection, which are really affordable and really good. And this one is in the shade Powder Puff 2. So you could just take a little bit of this. See, it's quite a nude tone. And you could just take down the pink. The pink kind of wasn't to your fancy. They smell really good, don't they? They smell like ice cream. Like toffee. <laughs> I'm just taking that. So the pink still comes through, but it's more of like a nude pink. So that's the finished look, guys. Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon for more videos. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.